Java programming. In the last session, we covered the topics as what is the swing package, what is the hierarchy of the swing package, and what is the uh, we can see the definition of the JFC Java Foundation classes. And we can also see the some classes that we need, we are used in the our swing package. Let's see some of the classes and we will write some programs and we can also discuss the what is the MVC architecture that we will be using in our swing program. Next, next, what is the topic that is J uplets. The J uplets are the fundamentals to the swings. It is extended to the version of the swing package. So the J uplets are the fundamentals to the swings. It is the extended version of the applet program. If we are using the applets in swings, that must be subclass of the J applets. It is the rich. Why we are calling as it is a rich? Because the functionalities. Those are not in the applet program. That's why the J applets are the rich functionalities. And when we are using the adding method, why we have to use the add method? To add the components to our swing programs, we, are, we have to add the add method. When we are adding a component to an instance of applet, the add method of content pen is used. The content pen can be obtained by using the method container get content pen method. By using the get content pen method, we are adding the objects or contents to our container. Next, the add method of a container can be used to add the components to a content pen. How we can display the add method? By using the void add component. Here, the component is the component to be added to the content pane. So, the comp, CYMP is the, the comp object which is used to add the components to our content pane. The image icons in swing classes, the icons are encapsulated by the image icon classes. It can be used to paint the icons from images. The image icon has two constructors. Those are image icon with the file name and image icon with the URL. The image icon with file name that is used to image icon uses the images in the file name called file name. The second one is the, the image icon with the URL. This constructor uses the images defined in the resources identifies the URL. The image icon can also be used to return the height, weight of the icons in the pixels by using the get icon height and the get icon weight. These are the two constructors we are using or two methods we are using in the image icons. Next, J labels. If we are creating the J labels in our swings, so we have to create the J labels. What is a J label? The swing labels are the instance of the J label class which is extended by the J components. The J labels has the three constructors. What are those? The J label with the icon I, the J label with the string S, the J label with the string S, icon I and integer align. So here the align means in which position we have to display our labels. It is a middle, center or up or down. These are the elements of our labels. Let's see one example. Here the first constructor is used to place an image icon on a label and the second constructor it is used to place a text on a label and the third constructor is used to place a text and icons along with elements of a label. For every swing program, we have to include the AWT package by using import java.awt.x that is star. The star means here it is includes the many number of or collection of classes. After that, after the AWT package, we have to include the swing package that is import java.x. X means here it is the extended version. That's why Java X dot swing dot star. This is the collection of the classes of swing packages. And swings are used to create the window based applications. To create the windows we have to write a small applet code. That is slash star. After the slash.
slash underscore we have to create the less than symbol applet code here the applet code means what is our class we have to give for our class the class name will be displayed in the code that is less than applet code equals to here we are creating the labels that's why j label demo i am creating the j label demo class with width 250 height 150 at last i have to close the applet code by using the less than symbol slash applet and greater than symbol and after star and slash by using this this is the applet code if we want to create any web based application sorry if we want to create the window based application we have to create one applet code this is the applet code so here the code is defined as the class name and we are setting the height and width of the applets next coming to the next part public class j label demo extends the j applets here we are creating a j label demo class which extends the j applet class and after we are using the public void init method the init method to initialize the contents in our program we are using the init method next the container c equals to get content pen the container and the content pen is used to create the container and in the next line we are writing the image icon il equals to new image icon of the file.jpg in the last class, so I told that every component will be created by using the class name, object equals to new keyword and the object, class object. That is the, here I am using the image icon, il equals to new image icon of the file.jpg. The image icon is used to take an images from the any locations of our computer. Next. I am giving the label to the images. For that, I am using the J label JL1 that equals to new J label of I am giving the name to the label. So here I am giving the logo. For logo, where is it will be? It will be in the image icon of the I1, comma J label dot center. I am giving and I want to display the uh, label name as in the center of the window, center of the image. So, uh, um, so uh, suppose this is the image, I want to display the label here. So, I am using the center alignment. By using the center alignment, the label name is the, will be in the center of the image icon. Next, C dot add of J L 1. So, why we are using the add? So we have to add any objects into the our container or a content pen. We have to use the add method. After that, we have to close our braces. So first one is for our initialization method and second one is our public class J label demo. This is the example of the J label. Next. J text field. The J text field is a swing version of the text field. It is encapsulated by the J text component classes, which extends the J components. The it provides the functionality that is same as swing. It provides the functionality that is same as swing text components. The the J text field is a subclass of swing text components. The text field constructors allows us to edit one line of text. So, the text field constructors are used to allow us to edit the one line of the text. Next, these are the constructors of the J text field. What is the first one? The J text field with the string S. The J text field with the int columns. That means columns, which one we have to edit or which one? The J text field with integer calls. That is the columns. J text field with the string S and the integer columns. And J text field. It is the empty constructor. And these constructors are used in our programs. Let's see another program. Here. In every program of swings, we have to, you must include the import java.awt star and import java.swings.star. These Packages are mandatory in every swing packages or any every swing programs. Next coming to the applet code. The applet code is also mandatory. 
less than slash symbol star less than symbol applet code equals to importations j text field demo width equals to 300 height equals to 50 and less than slash applet greater than next slash star and slash this is the applet code so the import statements and the applet codes are the must and should for every swing programs Next coming to the, we have to declare the J, J text field demos. So, by using this. So, what is that? Public class J text field demo, which extends J applets. So, every class can be extended from the J applet class. Public demo init method. Why we are using the init method? The init method is used to initialize the, what are the contents that will be present in our program that will be displayed by using that will be inserted into the init method okay next one is the container the container c equals to get contain pane it is also mandatory next j text field so here i am creating one text field which is having the 15 word 15 letters with that i have to use the j text field T1 equals to new J text field of enter text. The enter text is the, we are giving the title to our text field. And in that, we have to give the 15 letter words. And next, C dot add. By using the add method, we are adding the T1 text field to our C container or a content pane. At last, Braces. Two braces are the mandatory. One is for the initialization method and one is for the public class. The J button provides the functionalities of the push buttons. This J button allows the icons, a string or both to be associated with the push buttons. These are the constructors of the J button. The J button with the icons I and J buttons with the string L and J buttons with the string S and the icon I. These J button classes have some methods. What are those methods? So, those are void set disable icon. So we want to disable the icon. Then we can display the, then we can have the set disable icon. Next, set pressed icon. Why we are using the set pressed icon? The set pressed icon is used to place an icon when the button is pressed. When the button is pressed, the icon will be placed by using the set press icon next set selected icon so if the button is pressed after the pressing the button the icon will be selected by using the get set selected icon next void set roll over icon this method is used to place an icon when the mouse rolled over it when the mouse rolled over it string get text the Get text method is used to get the text which is associated with a buttons. The get text method is used to associate it with a buttons. Next, set text. It is used to set the text to be associated with a buttons. And add action listener. So why we are using the action listener? The action listener is used to registering the listener for the events. So what is the action listener? It is used to register the listener for the events, any event. Void remove action listener. So what is the void remove action listener? Here, um, here the action listener here the action listener is used to register the listener of the event and remove the action listener. It is used to unregistering the listener for the event. That is the difference. Let's see one example program of the J buttons. As usual, the Java Swing programs having the two packages. Those are import java.awt.star, import java.swing.star. These packages are mandatory. And next, the applet code is mandatory. By using the slash star less than applet code equals to importation button demo. Here I am using the demo of the button programs. So button demo here I am creating. Next width, width equals to 150, height equals to 150, 
Next, I am closing the applet programs by using the less than symbol slash applet and greater than symbol at last star and slash. By this is the this is a part of the applet codes. Next, next public class button demo. Here I am creating the class for the button demo which extends the J applets. Next, the public void init. The init method is used to initialize the what are the contents to be covered in our program that will be inserted into our program. That is container C equals to get content pane. J button. The J button is the class. Here I am creating the one new object to the J button by using J button D1 equals to new J button of login. Here I am creating the label as login. So the login button will be added to the container by using C dot add of B1. And at last I am closing with two braces. The checkboxes are used to provide the functionalities of the checkboxes. So the checkboxes, J checkboxes are the extended versions of the checkboxes. And which is a concrete implementation of abstract buttons. Let's see the constructors of the checkboxes. The J checkbox with the icon I. The J checkbox with the strings S. These are the constructors of the checkboxes. When a checkbox is selected or deselected, an item event is generated. So when we are using the checkboxes, we have to select or deselect the events by using item state changed. So by using the item state changed, we have to select or deselect the item events. Inside the item state changed, the get item and the get text methods are used. What is meant by get item? The get item method gets the J checkbox object that generated the event. And what is the get text method? The get text method gets the text for the checkboxes and uses into the set the text inside the text field. If we want to set the text into our text field, the get text method is used. Let's see one simple program. The import java.awt star. It is main the abstract window in toolkit packages. Next, we import java x dot swing package dot star. It is also mandatory. Next, the applet code is mandatory. Next, coming to the main. Let's come into the main part of our program. Public void checkbox demo that extends the J applet class. Next, public void init method. Container C equals to get content pane. So the container which is used to create the contents into our windows. The J checkbox CB1 equals to new J checkbox of Telugu. Here I am creating the checkboxes of the Telugu, English and Hindi. And for the English and Hindi I am giving the true. Next I want to add these into our content pane by using the C dot add of CB1, C dot add of CB2, C dot add of CB3 and after closing braces. Now this is a simple example for the checkboxes. Next coming to the radio buttons and the radio buttons are supported by the J radio buttons class which is a concrete implementation of the abstract buttons. So these are the constructors of the J button. So first one is the J button with the icon I. The J button with the icon I and the boolean state. So which state the, it, will, it will be having. So it is either true or false. We are having the two states. Those are the true and the false. So here the I icon for the button and text is specified by X. If the state is true, the button is initially select, selected. If the state is true, the button is initially selected. Otherwise, it is not. Let's see one simple example. Import java.awt.star. Import java.x.swing.star. Next, the applet code. Less than slash 
लेस सिंबल एप्लेट कोड इक्वल्स टू रेडियो बटन डेमो विथ इक्वल्स टू 150 हाइट इक्वल्स टू 150 एंड ग्रेटर देन सिंबल एंड हाउ टू वी कैन क्लोज द और वी कैन एंड द एप्लेट कोड बाय यूजिंग द लेस देन सिंबल स्लैश एप्लेट एंड ग्रेटर देन सिंबल एंड एट लास्ट द एप्लेट कोड विल बी एंडेड विद द स्टार एंड द स्लैश नेक्स्ट कमिंग टू द मेन पार्ट public void radio button demo which extends the java applet that, sorry j applet j applet is the extended version of the applet programs public void init method so what is the init method we are initializing the contents into our container c equals to get content pane c dot set layout we have to set a layout for the j radio buttons so here we are using the layout tag to create any layouts to create any small window we are using the layouts c dot set layout of new flow layout next come into the j radio buttons rb1 equals to new j radio button here we are creating one new radio button with the title of female next j radio button rb2 with the new j radio button of male the button group now why we are using the button group it is a collection of the buttons button group b1 equals to new button group method so here i want to add the radio buttons to the button group and i want to add the radio button group to the our container by using the b1 equals to add of rb1 and b2 equals to add of rb2 and c dot add of rb1 c dot add of rb2 so b1 what is that the b1 we are adding the rb1 radio button 1 to the b1 and radio button 2 to the b2 and adding the rp1 and rb2 to the container this is a simple example of the radio buttons let's discuss about the combo boxes what is meant by a combo box here the combo boxes are used to it is a combination of the text fields and the drop down box that is the combo boxes what is that it is a combination of the text fields and the drop down list the j combo box extends the j component class it displays a drop down list that allows user to select a different entry so if we want to display any drop down list or any text fields we are using the combo boxes so let's see the constructors of the j combo box here the j combo here the j combo box with the empty elements or empty fields it is a constructor and next one is the j combo box with the vector v here the vector v is defined as the vector that initializes the combo box what is that the v is the v is defined as the vector that initializes the combo box and the items to be combo box by using the add elements we have to add the items of the combo box by using the add method in the method we are declaring an object is added to the combo box let's see let's see one example program import java.awt.star so for every swing package uh, programs we are inserting the awt package and the swing package after that we are ins inserting the applet code so let's coming to the method so here we are using the public void combo box demo so the combo box demo is the class name for our combo box program which extends the j applet program and let's coming to the initialization method so in the initialization method we are creating one get container method object okay so we are con we are creating one get content pair method and we are creating the c object and j combo box so here we are creating one combo box object by using the combo box method and here we are adding the some values to in our in our combo box that is cb1 dot add of guntur and cb1 dot add of vijay ward and cb1 dot add of visor like this we are adding some values to our combo box and these combo box can be added by using the c dot add object let's see the output of this example so this is the out output for the combo box thank you everyone thank you for listening this lectures